Three, two, one, go. Hey, boys and girls, it's Brother Barry. I guess you can see I'm not where I normally am, either in the sanctuary or the kitchen. The bathroom here in the church needed a little attention. I got my bathroom uh, brush. Uh, you know, boys and girls, uh, nobody really likes to clean uh, the, the, the bathroom. Uh, we're glad that people uh, clean it, but let's, let's just admit it, uh, cleaning the bathroom, sometimes a bathroom uh, can be really gross, especially uh, the commode. We might as well just tell it like it is. Now, I, I know at home, uh, well, I suspect that you may help, but probably your mom and dad uh, cleans the uh, bathroom. But you know, uh, if you're out in public, uh, maybe you've stayed at a motel or in any public building, well, there's somebody that's cleaning the bathroom. In some ways, you can think of that as a lowly job, and it reminds me of this story in the Bible. I've got a pair of, I guess you'd call these sandals or, or flip-flops, because in the time of Jesus, this is the kind of shoes that people wore. They had dirt uh, roads, and uh, so you, you can imagine as you're walking along a dusty dirt road, it's a pretty hot climate, uh, in the Bible lands, well, people's feet would get really, really dirty. And so when you came into a home, uh, you took off your sandals and you needed your feet clean, just like a bathroom needs cleaning uh, often. Now, usually the person that would do this would be the lowliest of servants. But one night in an upper room, Jesus was with his disciples, and to their amazement, he got a towel and a basin of water and got down on his knees, and he started washing the feet of his disciples. Can you imagine? Well, he wasn't a servant. Uh, he was their Lord. He was their rabbi. He was their master. In fact, he's the King of kings and Lord of lords. But you see, Jesus was trying to teach his disciples uh, a lesson. He said, I didn't come to have people serve me. I've come to serve, and I want you, my disciples, to do likewise. If you really want me to be my disciple, then you must be willing to humble yourselves and serve others. And so when I see these sandals, it reminds me that our Lord was so humble, he was willing to be a servant. And it reminds me that if I'm going to be his follower, then I need to be a servant, even if that means doing something like cleaning the bathroom. Be a servant for Jesus.